Hello viewers, welcome to today's class. The station you're watching is Alim TV, your favorite learning station where you always get to watch and learn. Now, today's class, you're going to look at the composition of IEBC. IEBC. Remember class, in the last uh, class, we did look at uh, the electoral process, right? What takes place? The, we, we did talk of registration of voters, right? There is a civic education, right? Then there is, the, 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 there is the, 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 the actual voting now. Now we want to look at that body that oversees election. Now, and that body is IEBC. We get to look at what is the meaning of IEBC, right? What is the composition of IEBC? And also, what um, are the functions of IEBC? Now, as always, it is your teacher, Droja Michira. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to state the functions of IEBC, right? Those are our lesson objectives. Now, straight to our, to, to our class, getting to look at IEBC. What does IEBC mean, right? It simply means the, it is the Independent Electro, Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC. I standing for independent, E standing for electoral, right? B standing for boundaries, and C commission. It is the independent electoral and boundaries commission. Good. And now that is a symbol of IEBC. That is a symbol of IEBC. As you can see, it has got a map of Kenya, right? Um, at, at, the, at the midst of the map, we have got a ballot, right? And we have got, you, can, you can see someone casting a vote, right? Then there is what? Your vote, your future. That is a sample of IEBC, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. Now, class, what is the composition of IEBC, right? What does it comprise of? Good. Now, the constitution spells out clearly the composition of IEBC. Now, we, it, the IEBC, it should not have more than nine members, right? That's the first, the first, um, the first, um, requirement as per the constitution that is the 2010 constitution so it must not have more than nine members and also another thing another thing that is stipulated well in the constitution is that the chairperson appointed by the president by the approval of the national assembly meaning now the chairperson is appointed by the uh, the president through the approval of the national assembly right then also we have the uh, the, the vice chairperson who is elected by, by the commission. So the, the nine commissioners get to agree who is going to be our vice chairperson. Then also, a secretary is appointed by the commission. Good. Then finally, a chief executive officer appointed by the commission, the CEO of the IEBC. Now we get to look at who are some of these members, right? In the Kenyan, in the Kenyan, um, in the Kenyan IEBC com uh, composition, right? Who are they? Now we have said it should not have more than nine members. Right, it must the, the chair the chairperson is elected by the president. Good, the chairperson is elected by the by the president. Then also the vice chairperson is elected by the commissioners. Right, then we have got the secretary to the commission, and finally the CEO, the chief executive officer of the commission, who is appointed by also the commission. Now, class, look at that. The one at the at, 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 at the center is a. Uh, Wafula Chepukati, Wafula Chepukati, who is the IBC chair person, right? Then from the left, the one with uh, the, the, the one with the specs is the is the CEO, right? Uh, however, 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 he was suspended. Yes, Chilo, uh, Chiloba, he was suspended also. We have um, Gata there. Right? Now, those are the commissions of IEBC. That's the composition of IEBC. It should not have more than nine members. Now, as, as they are there, they are, they, they, they are two missing, right? They are nine commissioners, and they should not exceed, they should not exceed nine. Now, what, is, what are some of the functions of IEBC, right? One, there is registration of voters and maintenance of the voters' role. Now, you can't, you, there is no, there is no, there is no another place you can register as a voter if you cannot go to IEBC. It is only the IEBC commission that is mandated, right, to register voters. There is the liberation of nomination process. Whenever uh, political parties are nominating their representatives to political seats, right, IEBC oversees that nomination. Then also, it ensures voter registration. Talk of civic education, it is IEBC that ensures that people have been registered. 
Look at the, the previous, uh, the previous uh, election, right? The 2017 election. As we, are, as we were nearing the 2017 election, IEBC ensured that people have registered. Those who have attained right, the voting age right, were persuaded to register as voters and also registration of candidates for elections. Right? You, can't, you, you, you can't go into election as a candidate if you have not been registered by IEBC. IEBC must have to recognize you. Right? IEBC must have to identify you. They must get to know who are you in the political, in the political, in the political uh, seat. Right? So it is IEBC that gets to register candidates for elections. And also, IEBC, it takes part in settlement of election disputes from nomination, but excluding, but, uh, excluding position after declaration of results. Right? So it gets to solve disputes uh, in nomination, but after results, it is, it is now, it is now the, the courts right, that gets to, to, solve, to solve those disputes. Then also, class, there is development of the code of conduct for candidates and parties conducting elections. Now, this is the body that develops the code of conduct, right? What are some of the, what are some of, 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 of the qualities, right? What are some of the requirements for one to vie for a political seat? For example, you must, the minimum, you must have a degree, right? Talk of integrity. It is IEBC that gets to develop those codes of conduct. Now, last but not least, class, there's a regulation of funds that are spent, right, during elections. So IEBC gets to regulate a part for a party how much are you going to spend, right? You, 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 saw, you, you, saw, you saw in 2017, right? For you, for, 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 for you to buy, you must get to table what is your budget, right, for your campaigns, how much you're going to spend. Good. And then lastly, supervision of the actual elections day by, 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 by facilitating observation, monitoring, transporting of items, evaluation, and announcing results. Remember, from the day of voting, IBC takes charge now, right? It gets to observe. It, have, it has got observers. It gets to monitor, talk of transporting of items, right? The ballot boxes, right? The, 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 the ballot papers also, right? So it, it also takes charge in announcing of results. Now, class, we have just looked at the composition of IEBC, and also we have looked at the, 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 the functions of IEBC. Now, for our assignment class, can we get to state the meaning of IEBC and also get to discuss the composition of IEBC? Thank you so much, and for reference, get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government, and as always, this is a Limit TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. Thank you so much. And let us keep LMU TV for more lessons.